Hello and welcome to the channel, I'm Lozzy and in today's video I'm going to be going through some of the albums that are keeping me going through this lockdown. Now this is going to be part one of a two video series that we've all been in lockdown now for several weeks. We need to keep ourselves occupied and a great way I say occupied is by listening to music. Now for the most part when we consume music we just put it on the background and we don't really pay that much attention to it. But for these albums I've picked here they're really keeping me going through the, the lockdown period. I'm actually spending a lot of time just listening to them almost in isolation. But for these albums I have listened to them mostly without any other distraction. I think throughout this lockdown period it's really made me appreciate the music that I like and listen to even more. So without any more fucking about, let's just get into the albums that I've been listening to throughout the lockdown period. Okay, kicking off, Under Soil and Dirt by the story so far. Now if you're not a pop punk fan you probably won't get it, it's not your thing. I understand but for me it was right down my street the album came out in like 2011 it's kind of a genre now that's pretty much not dead the genre's not dead but it is there's a lot less bands around that could fit into that genre now i was going to pick three songs for you to actually listen to on that album if you're interested it'll probably be daughters rome and probably mount diablo but i do like high regard as well to be honest most of the songs, I'd say 90% of the songs on that album are songs that I really enjoy. Now sticking with the kind of pop punk theme is Crown Shyness by Trash Boat. Now Trash Boat are uh, a band kind of in the similar sort of genre, kind of pop punk, punk rock kind of, you know, scene I guess. Do you, do you still call it scenes? I don't know. But anyway, Trash Boat, they released the album Crown Shyness in 2018. It's got some really good tracks on there, in particular I'll probably pick out Undermine, Nothing New and Shade. The vocals in both the story so far and Trash Boat are something that I really are quite like. It's kind of aggressive without being overly aggressive. Also just a side bit on Trash Boat, their most recent release, um, it's kind of a single release outside of an album, was um, Synthetic Sympathy. And if that is kind of a direction as to where they're going to be going in the future, I kind of like it. So I'm expecting good things. Believe it or not, that window is actually closed. Okay, so the next album I've been listening to during lockdown period is Hypersonic Missiles by Sam Fender. Now, I've probably said quite a lot about Sam Fender in the past um, on social media because I think he's fucking brilliant. I really do. And his debut album definitely did not disappoint. Honestly, the album front to back was brilliant. For me, it's really hard to kind of put a genre on Sam Fender because he kind of straddles the line between like indie rock, soft rock, you know, some more kind of, not blues, but there's, there's a hint of different genres in there. So the tracks I'll pick off that album in particular will probably be Dead Boys, That Sound, and Saturday. Now if I'm not mistaken, on the end of that album, there is a live version of a track called Use. That's really good. Check that out as well. Yeah, so if you are looking for that sort of vibe, kind of, you know, indie rock, indie kind of thing, and that's what you enjoy, I would definitely, if you haven't already, give Sam Fender a go, because that, as a debut album, that is solid. Wall to wall, the songs are quality. Okay, so the next album is Welcome to the Neighborhood. Now this is another album that, for me personally, pretty much every song is a winner. And that's by Boston Manor, it came out in 2018, and this is a band previously that were probably kind of situated in the pop punk, uh, punk kind of genre but they've moved slightly with this album and uh, I think they've added in like, kind of cool elements and more popular elements which a lot of bands have been doing but this this album for me is quality. A few tracks I'll pick out for this one in particular will probably be Stick Up, Funeral Party and England's Dreaming but like I said before this is an album that all of the tracks are really good and it's really helped me get through the quarantine period and continue to do so. Also, they've got a new album coming out pretty soon. I think it's next month, so check that out. It's gonna be called Glue. And I'm quite interested to see where they go with it. Now, this next album is my favorite album of this artist. It's Holy Fire by The Foles. Now, the same thing applies to this album as the rest of the albums that I've picked on this list, because every song 
is so good. My personal favourite track by Foles is Inhaler, that's on this album. Other songs I'd pick would be Providence, Moon, Bad Habit, My Number, there's so many on this album. For a band that's been going for a fair amount of time now, they never seem to disappoint. Foles are a staple of my music taste, they're one of the bands that have been the most consistent. So yeah, if you like indie, if you like kind of indie rock, and you haven't checked out Foles, you really are missing out. Now this next album I would say sticks with me personally because when I was in the band at this time when the album came out, it was the kind of sound we tried to emulate without being the band that we were trying to emulate. This album's called An Awesome Wave and it's by Alt-J. Now if you've never heard of Alt-J, I cannot describe to you very accurately what Alt-J are. It's kind of hard to pinpoint where Alt-J kind of are. They're in the indie kind of sphere. And their first album just got me hooked straight away. I mean, you're looking at tracks like Dissolve Me, Breeze Blocks, um, Flitz Pressure, Tessellate. There's so many tracks on there that will get you singing along and kind of just engaged. The vocals are very strange in it and almost replace instruments at times, which is, you know, interesting. But yeah, if you've not checked out Alt-J and you're interested in that sort of music indie-wise, then I definitely listen to them. We're going back to just after the millennium with this one. Now, I'm a big fan of Kings of Leon. People can say what they want about them, but I'm a big fan and their quality. Don't, don't come at me. So we're going back to where it all started with Youth and Young Manhood which was, I think it was released in 2003. I said we were going back with this one and this is where Kings of Leon look like southern rock stars. You know, they've got proper long hair, probably coked off their tits, writing banger after banger. If you played FIFA back in the day, you recognise Red Morning Light because that song is a staple of that game. And honestly, that probably made the game slightly better. And if you played FIFA recently, you'd long for those days back. Anyway, that's a different subject to get onto. But the songs on this album, ooh, ooh. You've got Red Morning Light, you got Tranny. I said Tranny, right? That's a quality song. Don't knock it before you listen to it. You've got Wasted Time, you got Molly's Chambers. I mean, Molly's Chambers is a fucking classic. So yeah, if you are a fan of any sort of rock, check them out. I mean, it's not a band that you've probably never heard of before, but if you've never listened to that album, you're really missing out. And the last album I'm gonna pick for part one of this video is 10 by Pearl Jam. Now, Pearl Jam are one of the bands that in my eyes just will never die. And they've taken that and ran with it because they're still releasing albums today and they were around in the early 90s. They've been going for nearly 30 years. That's insane. I know there are bands that have been around longer. I know there are bands that have been releasing shit a lot longer. But for me, if a band lasts over 10 years, they've, they've had to done something right. There are a few exceptions. And I won't go into who they are, McFly. This, this album is probably the best debut album of any artist on the list that I've had so far. This is the only Pearl Jam album that I've liked every single song on. Every other album, there's been two or three, maybe one or two in the later albums that have really resonated with me and got me to properly listen to it. This is an album that comes around once or twice in a band's life cycle. But this album is just absolute gold. Do I even need to list the tracks on this one? You got Once, you got Alive, you got Deep, you got Jeremy, you've got, I mean, even though the song's been ruined for me, even flow and if you played guitar hero you definitely remember even flow that era of the 90s music was just quality the early 90s you had like smashing pumpkins you had nirvana you had pearl jam you had stone temple pilots i mean the, honestly if you like the kind of grungy rock kind of scene that was that was the one that was the era for you i mean i'm just thinking of more and more bands here you had Soundgarden. you had Fucking like rage against the machine. Uh, that era will never be beat. Never, in my personal opinion, never be beaten. So that's the end of part one on the video series. Let me know down in the comments what albums are keeping you going through lockdown, and whether you agree or disagree, because I'd like to have a bit of a debate. Plus, if you're wrong, and I know you're wrong, I'd like to eviscerate you. But that's still on me. That's up to you. There's a like button. 
if you want to press that, that does help the video. It's a dislike button, I'm not really sure that does, but it does obviously give you the chance to say, hey, fuck you, I don't like this video. Also, if you'll be so kind, click that notification bell if you're interested in all my future uploads, because that'll tell you, hopefully, if YouTube do the uh, actual work. That should tell you when I upload, and you can get a notification to your phone, your PC, or whatever you're using to consume this media. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.